Today we're going to make an outdoor entertainment center. This is a really fast and easy DIY project that doesn't require an electrician. Here at Maker Ranch we love to sit around a campfire and watch the occasional UFC fight, a movie, or just play video games. It's a lot of fun, but our setup is pretty janky. So when my friends over at MSC Audio contacted me and said they have some really awesome high fidelity outdoor speakers, I thought, well, here's the chance to upgrade our system. These speakers are serious. They're super high quality, they have great sound, and they really put a lot of thought both into the ease of setup and to the robust nature of the speakers themselves so that they can really withstand the elements. With a lot of other outdoor speakers, there's a bunch of pain points, including things like phase discrepancy with outdoor audio systems. These Cherry Bomb speakers consist of a subwoofer, mid-range, and a tweeter all in a single unit, and the full-range in-ground combo provides phased matched audio between the low, mid, and high frequencies. Basically, they sound really good and they're easy to install. I'll put a little more information in the description along with a link so you can do your own research. But seriously, check them out. The speakers are designed so that the red parts can actually be buried into the ground underneath a deck with just the speaker part peeking up above it. Now we're in the process of building the new house and so we can't install them there yet. So we wanted a temporary solution that would upgrade our outdoor viewing experiences. So I decided to build an eight foot long cedar box that would serve as a TV stand and hide the bases of the speakers themselves. I cut cedar two by sixes to length with my Ryobi chop saw and made a few rip cuts on my table saw. I started assembling the panels leaving quarter inch gaps in between the cedar boards. I used two and a half inch long finish screws screwing from the backside to try to minimize the amount of screw heads that are visible. Once the two end panels were done, I started screwing the boards that will make up the front face to the end panels. These screws will show, so I'm using two and a half inch long stainless steel star head screws. They just look really nice. After securing the boards that will make up the front face, I started to think about the top and bottom of the box. I started with one of the end pieces going on the top just to stabilize the structure and to keep the ends from bowing in. I then flipped it over and screwed on the bottom boards. Now the speakers are designed so that they can go directly in or on the dirt, but there are some other electrical components that I want to keep inside this box that I just want a little bit of separation between them and the moist ground. After screwing the first two top boards on, I checked to make sure that the speakers could still fit inside. From here, I took two more two by sixes and then drew a circle about four and a half inches diameter that'll fit right around the speakers. We then sanded all the cedar with first 100 grit paper and then worked our way up to 150 grit. Now, as I said before, we're gonna be moving in about six months, so we wanna make this as portable as possible. Also, it would just be really cool to take this way out into one of our fields and we could have a little dance party if we wanted to. So, we put on some handles. I placed the speakers and then screwed in the top boards around them. Now, I always get a little intimidated by any project that requires me hooking up technology or wiring things together, but the MSE audio guys really assured me that this was not hard, and they were right. All I had to do was strip a little bit of wire and just match the colors and the positive and negatives, and they gave me clear instructions on how to do that, so it was actually really easy. The only real work that I had to do here was just cut some speaker wires to the right length and then connect those speaker wires to the amplifier and then to the speakers themselves. The amplifier just plugs into a normal household socket. Connecting the wires took about five minutes and now I was ready for a power source. Now for power, I could run an extension cord to the house, but instead I wanted to try out one of my goal zeros. This is a small portable power pack that I can charge either from a household socket or from a 100 watt solar panel that just plugs right into it. These things are super easy to use. I have one in my truck, I use them on construction sites. They run really quiet 
and you can get a lot of electricity out of one of these really small units. All the electrical work took less than 12 minutes and I was able to connect my phone via Bluetooth and bump some tunes. Kind of startled Jesse a little bit who was sanding the hot tub. Now, originally we were gonna build this to go with the hot tub, but we thought this project was so cool and useful that it should stand on its own. Now we were ready to go as it was, but we thought we'd cut some steel plates with an angle grinder just to trim out around the speakers a little bit more cleanly. This is totally optional and you don't have to do this. The wooden holes are fine. That bell-shaped collar around the speaker is, is actually a subwoofer and you want that at least three quarters of an inch above the surface of the deck. So I just slid some plywood underneath it before adding in the steel plates. Once again, these steel plates are totally optional. And if you don't have access to metalworking tools, I suggest cutting out the bottom of a piece of plastic Tupperware with some tin snips and making your own brackets out of plastic. I added one more hidden support to the top just to make the top surface a little more rigid and we are ready to test the whole thing out. Now cedar weathers really well outdoors, but we did add two additional pieces of two by six cedar underneath it just to keep it off the ground a little bit. The speakers can be adjusted with an Allen wrench and overall I was really impressed with the sturdiness of their construction and the ease of installation. We brought out the TV and Jesse hooked up her Nintendo Switch and we are ready to bump this system and it really thumps. The sound quality is absolutely exceptional and we definitely can piss off the neighbors with this one because it gets really, really loud. I think we're gonna have to throw a big party once this whole pandemic thing is over just so we can really take advantage of the full range of their capabilities. I know it may seem weird to most people, but out here in Joshua Tree, we watch most of our movies and play most of our video games outside by a fire. One, it gives us an excuse to chop more firehood, which is one of our favorite pastimes. Also, it just oddly feels more aspirational if you play mind-numbing video games in the great outdoors. Now, if you've been following us on Instagram, you know that we've been doing this for a long time, but Make sure you give us a follow now so you can see that we actually use this thing on a day-to-day -day basis. Links to our Instagram are in the description below. Thanks to MSE Audio for sponsoring this video and be sure to check them out by clicking the link in the description. These speakers are exceptional and I couldn't endorse them more highly. You'll be seeing them again in the hot tub video which is coming up soon. All right, thanks for watching everybody. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and uh, I'll see you next time.